Hey everybody, welcome back to my Project 13. This is the early morning vlog. And I am doing my best to wake up, listening to some music that actually helps me do that. You know what I'm talking about? Woo, yeah. Time to wake up. Shooting this video from Basic Tam 1080p with the OP7 Pro. Thanks for coming on by, hanging out with me during the early morning hours of the day. Uh, gotta tighten up the back of my eye on easy one touch too. It keeps swiveling. And hopefully I tighten it up enough to where you're not hearing any rattling from the iOdi Easy One Touch 2. In the dark, in a very low light situation, how does everything look using the uh, front facing cam of the OP7 Pro? Anyway, wanted to quickly talk about the video that I uploaded yesterday, uh, talking about the uh, OnePlus 7 Pro that died on TK, Total Tech. I left some links in that video. So hopefully you went to check out the two videos that TK had up for you to watch. One was a live stream and one was that he, one that he uploaded later on in the afternoon that his OnePlus M Pro is still not working. And then last night before I went to bed, he was doing another live stream and his OP7 Pro came back from the dead. The Lazarus smartphone. Yes, that's what he's calling it. The Lazarus smartphone. Hashtag Lazarus. So, apparently it came back on, and if you watch that live stream, I will leave a link down below in the description so you can go check out the video. Um, he's thinking that it might be the warp charge, you know, so uh, something to do with the phone just deciding to just kill over. I, I don't know. Uh, if you go watch the whole live stream, I ended up cutting out early. It was good to hear that it came back. He's still going to trade it in, I think, for a Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus, but uh, you'll have to go watch the whole live stream to see what he ends up doing. Again, I had to go to bed early, so I cut out early. Uh, I don't want to give you any definite answers to that live stream. You're going to have to go watch it. All I know is it came back from the dead. It is now working, and it seems to be functioning just fine. Um, and and my, my reason for uploading a video talking about the situation is that as a YouTuber, uh, I just don't review smartphones. I review products, accessories, and so forth like that. I vlog a lot. I talk about this and that, anything related to tech. Sometimes a little, uh, a little bit of, uh, I cover a little bit of other areas that aren't related to tech. Now there's some dude walking with a bat. <laughs> My goodness. He's walking right in the middle of the street back there with a bat in his hand. Well, I hope he's okay, man. Wow. Crazy. Anyway, see, I just talked about something else that had nothing to do with tech. Um, I bring it to your attention because not to create some panic or just to just uh, create nonsense, senseless content. It's important content. It's something to be vigilant about, to be aware of, you know, because if this is a situation that becomes more widespread, you want to know that you're going to have a plan in action to take care of uh, a situation that could happen to you if it becomes, uh, again, a more of a widespread situation. Uh, there are reports of a couple other uh, OnePlus 7 Pros dying outside of TK's phone that died and now has come back to life. Um, it has risen. <laughs> <laughs> They're making a lot of jokes over there about that, uh, as far as the whole Lazarus Risen thing. But um, more importantly, the, the phone did come back on. Uh, you know, he has his uh, he has his uh, thoughts on what it could have been. There were a lot of us that gave him a lot of tips on what to do to try to get it back on. I think it was my tip that worked. It was just a delayed reaction. And it, then it decided to come back on. So I don't know. <laughs> All, I, I'm just glad it did. I know, shout out to Big Dog. He mentioned, um, well, not just Big Dog, a few others in the video that I put up. Insurance. 
which is 99 smackarulas over at OnePlus for the OnePlus 7 Pro. But I typically don't buy insurance for any of my smartphones, you know. I, I, I just don't. I, and I've never had issues, honestly, on my part, even after the return policy is over. And even after a warranty situation, um, I've been pretty much taken care of in situations that I've needed to be taken care of. At this point, I'm probably just going to keep mine um, and leave it at that. And, uh, oh, I was going to turn on this is what I was going to do. There we go. A little bit of light. Yes, yeah, so I think I'm just going to keep mine and uh, and call it good. You know, I got a year warranty. I got an email saying that if anything happened, they would do their best to fix it. If they couldn't, they would replace it. And, you know, at this point, I'm just going to go on blind faith. Um, and... and, and, and and just enjoy what I have because I've been really digging my experience and really enjoying my time with my OnePlus 7 Pro. You know, it's a piece of tech. It's not, it's, it's, it's a part of our lives, but it's not more important than everything else that really surrounds my life. That really means way more than stuff. You know what I'm saying? Even though we work hard for this stuff, we should always uh, respect that. In my opinion, we should take care of this stuff. Uh, we don't want to spend our hard-earned money just to treat it like trash. And when something like this happens, like it happened to TK, we, we want to be able to know what our rights are within the return policy, the warranty, and all of that. And if you have insurance, you know, you want to know all about that, what, what, what will happen in that type of situation. So it, you have to be responsible with what you spend your money on, on, on stuff. But really what's important is life itself. Life, uh, my family, my wife, my kids, um, work, uh, those I work with. Uh, and then, the, you know, outside of all that, I have this YouTube channel. I have a community. I have a team. You're all important to me. And, and it's very important to me. Um, your lives are more important than this stuff. It really is. But this stuff is included in our lives. And it's what we like uh, uh, to spend our money on. Again, that we work so hard for that you still have a responsibility with that. You have a bigger responsibility in, in, in with your family uh, for yourself as a person. Okay? But stuff does come with responsibility. We don't want to just treat it like crap. And when we work hard for it, we buy it and something happens like what happened to TK. And it, it, you, you, you get concerned. You become vigilant. You become aware. And that's what my video is all about. Uh, and then if it's something that really does become an issue out there, then you want to know what you're going to do, what's your plan, uh, and, and, and taking care of what you spent your money on, right? And that's what it comes down to. So it's more. it was more of that video. And for me to decide and ask all of you, hey, what do you think I should do? You know, because it's 700. Yeah, I, I had a comment that said in the video that I uploaded, well, it's a smartphone. Yeah, what's well, a $700 smartphone? You know, and that's something I should consider. You know, should I return it within the return policy and just call it a day or should I hang on to it and, and use the warranty if I have to? And, and so I think that's what I'm going to do is just use the warranty. But I, I got a really great feeling that's not something that's going to happen to my OnePlus 7 Pro. And a lot of you out there are having a great time with your OnePlus 7 Pro. I appreciate the feedback. I really do. Um, it means a lot that you would give your input. Um, and that's what the community is about. And that's what the YouTube video is about. It, the content is about that is what we do we watch each other's back with this stuff and that's good tk had a responsibility as a youtuber and he took care of it he put the information out and then when it came back to life ah, the lazarus phone came back to life he did a live stream letting everybody know it came back and in 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 that if something does happen to any of your phones, that there is a possibility that it, something good will come out of it. Um, but again, in that type of situation, would you keep the phone or would you just rather exchange it out? 
or if you got it through a carrier, get a different phone. It might be the best bet. So um, hopefully this is a situation that's it's very, very minimal. And it just maybe it was just a batch of smartphones. Maybe it was the warp charge. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. We were only guessing at this point what it could have been. Um, all I know is it came back from the dead. It's working for him. And I'm going to hang on to mine and keep enjoying my time with it because I'm digging my experience. Again, shout out to all of you for your response. I appreciate it. And uh, we're just going to leave it at that. And, and yeah, I'll keep in, uh, I'll keep vigilant about my situation. But at the same time, just enjoy my OP7 Pro. It's been doing great. And uh, that's what it's all about. Anyway, thanks for watching. Peace. God bless. I am out.